All right, so what is your favorite New Balance model? Um, and it's okay, you can just go ahead and say the 998 because that's exactly what this episode is about, so. Yeah, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. Uh, so one of my favorite New Balance models is the 998, the Made in USA Classic. Oh. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Unboxed. I am your host, Brian. So for today's episode, it's something very, very special. So New Balance has blessed us with a 998 exclusive. And to help me unbox and review the shoe, I have the biggest New Balance collector on the East Coast, Mr. Richie Rojas. Why don't you tell the people about yourself? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Richie Rojas. I have the biggest New Balance collection in the world. It's like 600 some pairs. I've been collecting for like 25 years. Uh, so these guys brought me in here uh, today to talk about the shoe. Just when did you start collecting? Uh, early 90s. I kind of was like uh, into skateboarding and stuff, but then I gotten sneakers from that. And so just started buying shoes from all the brands. And then uh, I just kind of focused on New Balance because they were like the most comfortable ones. I think my favorite model of all time is a 1300. It's old, uh, made in USA, you know, gray, gray New Balance. It uh, just kind of goes with everything. It has like suede mesh and leather. Um, first pair of New Balance I bought was a 574. It was all blue suede. I actually, I think, traded some kid in school for him because I was broke. Uh, yeah, five seven fours back in the day, they were like super cheap. They had a million colors. You can just get them anywhere in the neighborhood. You can get them to match your outfits. Uh, and they were super comfortable and durable. Without any further ado, are you ready, Richie? Yeah. All right, let's go. Cool. Before we dive right into the, uh, the materials and everything about this particular 998, when was the 998 first introduced to the world? Okay, so New Balance put out the 998 in 1993, all gray suede. It was one of the most elite running shoes at the time at about 100 bucks. Uh, not everyone could afford it. It was kind of a, just a real classy shoe at the time. All right, and uh, do you remember when did you get your first pair of 998s? Ooh, my first pair of 998, I think I got them in like 1995. 95? Yeah, and they cost a lot of money. Uh, I worked like a crappy minimum wage job I had to save for a while to get them but they look good and they felt good oh, no, man. Yeah. that must have been like a, a very like prideful purchase like, for sure you know, like I saved every single penny I ever made and now I'm gonna buy yeah it took me like a, a month to save up for them or something like that well all right so diving right into the materials of this particular 998 model man what do you think first thoughts Ooh, the first thing of course is the colors um, the suede is really nice um, it has that classic absorb midsole, which is very uh, just like cushioned and comfortable. Um, I just like the mix of colors here. Um, but even just holding it, I already know this shoe is gonna feel good and look good. Yeah, man. So especially like I love the uh, the attention to detail. So we have the uh, the Kelly Green toe box mixed with some 3M. So we have orange and black on the medial and lateral side, as well as on the tongue, and orange on the New Balance emblem as well. And to finish it off, it has blue and red on the collar of the sneaker. Primarily, mostly New Buck and Suede. Overall, a super dope shoe. Anybody that is from Philly, or has visited Philly, or is familiar with Philadelphia in general can appreciate this. I feel, I truly feel like this does like, you know, embody the city of brotherly love, you know, in, in a sneaker. For sure, totally, without a doubt. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this latest edition of Unbox. Just as a reminder, the, the New Balance 444 will be releasing on October 26th at select Philadelphia locations and online at 10 a.m. So don't sleep and make sure you follow us on social media for those that live in the city that want to cop a pair to make sure that you guys get that store listing when we post it. But other than that, I am your host, Brian. And Richie, thank you so much for joining us on this episode, man. No much problem. appreciated. Where can everybody find you? Uh, you can check out my Instagram, New Balance 365 see my whole collection. It's all up on there. Yeah, seriously, you guys are going to spend at least countless hours just scrolling. It's like 5,000 photos. I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. It actually, you know, before we started filming, I tried to, like, get through some of it, but... It's a lot. It's too much, man. It's, it's a lot. Stuff. Like, where do you find the space in your place to put it's all this stuff? It's literally in my bedroom. It sucks. Really? Yeah. Holy my God. bedroom smells like a shoe store. That's actually not a bad problem. <laughs> I need a storage have. unit, pretty much. It's like some, uh -huh. in some culture, that's like an aphrodisiac, right? It feels like a bag of sand. <laughs> not my culture, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, until the next episode, my name is Brian. 
Thanks for coming, Richie. Anytime, anytime. All right, until the next episode, we are out of here, guys. Peace.